welcome to Pickleball Nation. What's up, Pickleballers? Welcome to a new episode of Pickleball Nation, where we're here to give you news, information, and tips on the game of pickleball. I'm Reggie Staggers, and I'm joined in the studio by my wonderful, tremendous co-host, Sherry Sternberg. How are you, Sherry? I am outstanding today, <laughs> Reggie. <laughs> Yes, you are. And Sherry, don't we have, because remember, last time we were on camera, we had a tournament going on, so we weren't able to do the pondering episode thing. Okay. So, but this time we have a pondering episode on pickleball etiquette. So we're calling it a pondering, but we really don't want you to ponder this. We want you to do this. Yes. Um, because etiquette on the court is so important and it's repeating over and over and over again. And at some point, people are going to get it. They're going to yes. stop whacking the ball all over the place. They're going to pick it up. Well, why don't we just go to the video and show them? Okay. Welcome to an episode of Pondering Pickleball with your host, Sherry Sternberg. Today's Pondering Pickleball is pickleball etiquette. What we'd like you to ponder and actually do is instead of when a ball rolls on your court, just whacking it wherever and not even looking to where it's going, pick up the ball and find out who the server is on the court and either toss or tap the ball to the server, saving your court and their court from any extra delays. Thank you for watching. Hey, Sherry, that was a tremendous episode. You know, I think people should be more courteous when they're on the pickleball court. Absolutely, especially with that ball. I mean, you end up interrupting two courts, sometimes three courts, by just whacking the ball when it's as simple as picking up the ball and making sure you get it directly to the person who's serving on your court or the court next to you. Absolutely. Okay, so Sherry, uh, we have with us in the studio two board two. members from the PG Pickleball Club, and who might they be? Well, we have uh, Jennifer Miller, who is our uh, treasurer, and we have Trudy Johnson, who is our ex-officio uh, board member. Um, that's a unique position that Trudy will describe for us yes. when she tells us what her role is. Right. Um, we continue to tell you that we will be having elections in the fall, and we really are reaching out and asking for some new blood, really. I mean, you'll have the support of all the people that have been helping and, and part of the board for years, but we want to get some new people in there, some, uh, Trudy will say it herself, some, some young blood, so that we have some maybe some new ideas and some other things that the PG Pickleball Club can do. And uh, that election will be this fall. So uh, we'll keep reminding you and giving you information, and today's interview will also do that. Okay, so we're going to take a little break. And when we come back, our interview with Jennifer Miller and Trudy Johnson. See you in a little bit. Do you sometimes suffer from headaches, mood swings, anxiety attacks, lack of sleep, moments of confusion? Could be signs of PPPD, picking a paddle purchase disorder. This occurs when you can't decide on which paddle to buy. Luckily, Pickleball Plus has a cure for this. It's called Try Before You Buy. They carry a wide range of paddles from major brands, and they can beat any retail price. So call now. Have you seen this person? Her name is Sherry Sternberg, certified instructor in pickleball. Caution, don't approach her unless you really want to improve your game in pickleball. She offers group and private lessons. So if you really want to improve your game on the court, Call now. This message will self-destruct. Welcome back to Pickleball Nation. I'm Reggie Staggers, and joining me in the studio is my co-host, Sherry Sternberg. And we have with us a couple of guests who are members of the PG Pickleball Club, and they all also happen to be board members as well. And we have with us Trudy Johnson and Jennifer Miller. And we want to ask them a few questions about the positions that they are playing on the board. And we want to ask them some questions because we know this is an election year. Uh, we have our board members who have done far and beyond their jobs. And we want to make sure that we get, we've had great people and we want to get some great people coming into the new positions. So Trudy, 
ex officio. What is that job? What does that mean? And uh, tell us what you do. I don't think ex officio has an official job title. Uh, I was uh, continued on the board because I've been part of the board since the inception of the club. Okay. Ex officio means that you do a little bit of everything. Uh, I come in if there's something that needs to be done. I do it if, uh, and, you know, I'm just a person I think that you can depend on to be there, to step in at any situation. Um, it's not written in the bylaws as a position on the board, but uh, our current president uh, needed some help, so he decided to keep a couple of us around who he knows that he can depend on to be there to step in to help and to give him some guidance and the other new board members. And I think you just used that word guidance because I was going to say, you know, I think of the ex officios as advisors to the board. Yes. Um, people that, that have knowledge of the club, have knowledge of pickleball, have been around no offense, but a long, long, long time. <laughs> and we yes, appreciate them true. advising the, the board members. Yes, that's true. That's true. So, Jennifer, so, uh -huh. I was going to, I'm sorry. Did you want to finish? No, go. I was going to ask Jennifer what was her role in being on the board. I'm treasurer of the pickleball club. And so um, I take care of the bookkeeping and collecting the money at the end of the day and making sure it gets into the bank and recorded. Okay. And uh, how long have you been doing this? Oh, what's our term? Four or five years? What are we <laughs> <doing>? it's, it's <laughs> whatever we need it to and be, extended, I think. Yeah. An, extended, and it's, an extended period of time. Yeah. It's, yes. I can't remember when I started. Yes, because but, of the pandemic. Yeah, yes. Right. Yes. Yes. So since we're in a recruiting board member uh, mode right now, tell us what you liked best about being on the board. Both of you take either one first. I don't... Oh. I was going to say that I just like being involved and getting to know people and... Um, just being a part of something and helping out and and having input input into what's happening uh, with the pickleball club. I, I what I like most is seeing the growth of the club and being there for any member that comes aboard who needs some direction in terms of what to do. Uh, like I said, I've been around a long time and since the inception of the club. So I feel good about that when I come in and see members come in and they progress, make progress from one point to the next point. So that's that's good for me. Weren't you one of the persons that at the early inception of the club was doing a lot of the research to look into how to form a club and the, how to put together a nonprofit organization. Yes, yes, I was. I chaired the committee to establish the first bylaws of the club, and I had to do all the research. I went around to other clubs that existed at the time and uh, took what they did and brought it back to our committee. I think we had about 20 members at the time, and we decided how those bylaws would fit us, and we, you know, scaled them down so that we could have a good organization. So do either one of you see yourself continuing in some capacity with the board uh, as we come into our new election? Uh-oh. <laughs> crickets, crickets, everybody hear the you, crickets? You, 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 have, you have silence because I'll always be around. Yeah, I'm always there, you know, for anyone who steps into any position to give them some, like you said, some guidance. I do have a lot of information. Uh, I'm a history person, and so I keep a lot of information on the club. So if anybody needs any information, they usually come to me, mm -hmm. and, you know, and I'm able to, to pull it up. So, you know, it... I'm not interested in becoming president or vice president or anything like that, but I always step in and, and, and lend my support to whatever position there is. Now, I, and I was, I'm go ahead, Jen. more than happy to help whoever comes in and takes over my position and uh, whenever they need me. Um, yeah. So have either of you talked to any of the new members or existing members that have been around for a while about the positions that are going to be opening soon about maybe stepping up and running for some of these uh, openings? I actually have. 
I've talked to a couple of people and asked them to think about running for the position. Uh, like Sherry said, I've been around a long time. I said long, 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 long time. time. Long, long time. <laughs> and so we're ready for maybe a younger generation to come in with some good ideas in terms of how we can support the club and move the club along uh, in a good direction. So I have spoken to a couple of people, and they are thinking about it. As a matter of fact, Reggie, I think someone spoke to you yeah. about uh, being a member of the board, and we hope that you will consider that. Well, that would also. be uh, yes. Yeah, absolutely. And how about you, Jen? Have you uh, spoken or have any person in mind that you think would be a good fit for running for the board? No, I I really don't. I mean, I I think anybody could be treasurer who's willing just to put in a little extra time and. Um, it's not that hard to run the books. It's just uh, time consuming and getting to the bank and and keeping your reports and so good with numbers. Good with numbers. well, good with numbers. <laughs> yes, and um, and then we meet about once a month, I guess, and that yeah. So it takes a little bit of time, but it's fun. I highly recommend it. Okay. And there's there's one thing that. Uh, Norma said when we did her interview uh, is that she feels like she's giving back to the club and she gets so much out of the club. And so being on the board gives back. So we're hoping that all of you listening out there are thinking about giving back to the club that uh, tries real hard to give to you um, in, in the different activities that they do and um, supports pickleball in Prince George's County. Yeah, that's the why I got on the board at the time when they were looking for a treasure, nobody would step up and take it. And I just thought Thank I got yes. so much from the club. I was, I said, I'll go ahead and do it. I'll give it a try just because I did want to give back. Right. And, and you, if you take a look at uh, the membership form, you will see down at the bottom where each one of us pledges to give back and to serve uh, the club. So it's an opportunity to do that. It's not difficult. It's very rewarding. It is. And fun. And fun. <laughs> yes. Awesome. It's, it was great hearing from you ladies. Uh, everyone uh, be on the lookout. Keep in mind that we will start sending information out about the elections, about the nominating. There's a nominating committee, so we get uh, what what is called a slate a of slate. candidates. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Um, and then we will have an electronic election I happen to send that out to everyone. And then the more people that vote, um, the better. We, we'd love to have some, I don't want, know if we want to call it competition, but but people running against each other um, so that we're, we're getting the best of the best out there. But if not, one person for each position works great for us as well. Yeah, it does. It does. Hey, Sherry, I think that'll do it for us. I'd like to thank Jennifer Miller and Trudy Johnson for appearing on the podcast. And I'd also like to thank our guests out there for tuning in all this time because, you know, Sherry, this will be our last episode until the fall. So I'd like to get your thoughts. How do you feel about the podcast? Well, first of all, I want to say thank you to Reggie Staggers because uh, I don't know if everyone realizes how much work, how much time, how much effort Reggie commits to these podcasts. Um, I show up, I help him set up, but he does all the editing, uh, maybe with a little bit of advice, but it's a <laughs> lot of time and effort, and I think he does a marvelous job. I think the transition you did, Reggie, from from the audio podcast to these video podcasts has been phenomenal. <laughs> Thank you, It Sherry. has really been excellent. Um, I look forward to doing it each time with you. I've heard lots of feedback about people enjoying watching them. Uh, even though we're taking a break from the podcast uh, video interviews, we will still be doing some pickleball ponderings, uh, some think abouts uh, in terms of maybe some court strategies and, and some quick things that you can do to help your game. Absolutely. So I'd like to thank you, Sherry, also for appearing on the podcast. Thanks, Reg. And I'd like to thank our audience out there for tuning in. And I also want to have a special thank you to the PG Pickleball Club for sponsoring us. So have a great and safe summer and see you in the fall. Thanks for tuning in to Pickleball Nation. This is Joan Morse reminding you that the audio for Pickleball Nation is available wherever you get your podcasts.